I'm about to upgrade my home office network equipment from the smaller Unify stuff that's all for the best, like the Unify Cloud Gateway Ultra, all the switches to more kind of robust, larger network devices. And you might find yourself in the same situation if say you want to upgrade your camera security, your Unify Protect system, and you picked up something like the NVR here that actually has full-size hard drives that you can utilize. Or, you know, maybe you just picked up the UNAS Pro and you want to do some file storage and file sharing within your network. Now, I can just open all these up, right? We have the gateway and a switch too. Maybe I'll place it up on a shelf, connect it all together, or even worse, leave it like on the floor, under my desk, something like that. So it's going to get messy pretty quick. What we'll need instead is some kind of network rack or cabinet. There's a ton of network racks that you can pick up, but if you don't have a lot of time or time at all to install a wall cabinet, or you want something simple that's just going to work, and importantly, you have all Unify gear, then we can actually install all this equipment and a patch panel into this mini rack from Ubiquity. They say you can assemble this under 10 minutes, so please like and subscribe, and let's see how fast we can get it done. And the clock starts now. Install guy, probably there. So this is our blank patch panel that's actually included with the mini rack. So by the way, you just kind of, these are pretty cool. They're all, these kind of, you push in and you just screw in all these kind of captive screws, I would call them, uh, just by your hand. But you can also use a Phillips or a flat screwdriver, it looks like, and tighten it down if you need to, or that's most likely if you need to uh, disassemble this. It's a bit wobbly here without these rails installed, and these are pretty easy, right? It just has these hooks, and they're going to lock in. Top just slides down. Oh, that is as easy as it gets. And I'm skipping the second position here because the UNAS Pro is actually two U, right? So it takes up two of those units. So we need to have that gap there. At this point, you can decide if you want to even include the handles, right? Depends on the dimensions. Uh, maybe you actually want to clean. I actually prefer kind of clean like this, but just to show you, it also has these kind of captive thumb screws, right? You just align this, screw that in. And we probably should have installed the wheels first. I realized the casters. And these just push in. And you can see they kind of individually lock pretty simply. This part's plastic right there. Okay, and that is done. And it comes in, uh, just the unit itself. I think they say, yeah, it's about 22 pounds. All right, so now let's install the patch panel. All the equipment, Unify equipment that's going to go in here is essentially going to be installed the same way, right? You have these kind of push in and then screw in thumb screws. And in my design here, I'm gonna go with position five. And I'll probably show a diagram so I kind of thought this through a bit of how I want it to look. Just place this in there. Okay, and then you push this just far enough. This line right there just needs to align and then you push this in, you kind of feel it engaged, and then just screw it in. And repeat on the other side. All right, so what's notably different here is actually this patch panel, maybe I'm missing it, uh, but it didn't come, and I'll let you know maybe if I maybe missed it, but it doesn't come with that strain relief that would usually go in the back of the regular Keystone patch panel that they have. And in terms of Keeping things simple. You now, usually when you have a patch panel and you're actually doing like a full install, you would have to terminate your actual Ethernet cable in the back with these RJ45 keystone jacks. But to keep things simple, and I think they even in their instructions show to use just the keystone couplers instead. And that's actually what I have right here. And I'll have this link for you, of course, in the video description. Uh, but this is a great pack. I think it's a pack of 25 and you just need 24. So what's cool with these is you just, you grab this, this faces the bottom, this is the top. I mean, it says cast six right there. 
and you kind of place the bottom end and you push in the top. To show you that from the back side, so the bottom goes in and just clicks in. So the idea is here that any kind of ethernet cables you have going, even like your ISP, your WAN, your modem connection can go just plug in to the back. I'll show you that at the end. And all the cables will be nicely routed through the back of this little mini rack. And at the front, then we're going to pass your switch or your gateway or whatever else you need. So I'm just going to go through and install all of these. Okay, here's the last one. I just want to mention before I put the last one in is that you can get these kind of panel blanks that perfectly match as well. I'm pretty sure they're plastic. I don't have any, but you could do those as well if you don't actually need all these ports. But I like to have these installed so there's, it's all ready to go in case I actually do need to use all the ports. And the other way, I mean, you could also buy little RJ45 dust covers as well to keep it cleaner. And I know they have silver ones like these as well, not from Ubiquiti, but in general, instead of the white, but I think the white looks pretty clean here as well. Now I'm going to start from the bottom actually and work my way up just so things don't get in the way. And I'll have the NVR here first and I just realized that then this is in the wrong position because the UNAS Pro is, is too U tall, so it'll go in here. I'm kind of surprised how easy they are. I mean, they, some of them were a little bit more firmly sitting there, but I guess once you have the weight, they're really not going anywhere. But you can tell that if I flip this upside down, these rails can come out pretty easily. And this NVR and like all the equipment from Unify, it comes with, you know, rack ears that you can install here if you're going to your typical standard rack unit. But again, what's cool with this, what's the time saver, is that you don't have to install those either, right? There's four screws per each side and, you know, everything adds up. But let's see how quickly we can get this installed. So we literally just took it out of the box, didn't do anything here. So on this one, in particular, the 1U version, just important to know that the, you know, the port here is on the back side. So we're just going to slide it in. And as before, you know, there's a top hole there and it just kind of aligns. And there it is it's on my first try. You know, it's funny. I thought at first I wouldn't want to use the casters, but it actually makes things like this so easy. You just spin it around really freely. And guys, one more thing, just make sure please, when you install equipment, it just kills me. I see it on Reddit all the time. Remove the stickers. It just looks so much better. It literally says, Please remove. Okay, and then the UNAS Pro, got a little hardware kit. Again, I bet you we won't need much or anything from there at all. Okay, so this guy is pretty heavy and that's uh, without any hard drives. So in general, you know, just like with any rack, you wanna keep this towards the bottom. Okay, wow, this guy is, it is heavy. And by the way, this, uh, this mini rack, it can support I think it was like 75, 77 pounds capacity, right? So it's by itself like 23 pounds and then 77 pounds of gear. So you're kind of looking at a hundred pound piece of hardware here. Okay, I will say it, it is harder to install these or to align it with a heavier device just because it doesn't want to move around as easily. Okay, we're getting close. Let's put the switch in position four. And this is the Pro Max 24 POE, which might be a good time to tell you that it's not just all unified equipment that you have to have, but also it needs to be compatible. So some of the first gen equipment is not compatible. And then notably the Pro Max 16 or 16 POE is also not compatible uh, because you can get a rack mounting kit for that, but not, that, not one that works with this. Okay, so keep that in mind. I'll include in the description, they do have a full list of exactly what's not compatible. But in general, all the new stuff from Ubiquiti in the Unify line is compatible with this rack. And of course, we'll get our power cable here. Before we get too far, I just want to show you before I put the Unify gateway in, this is how easy this would be to plug in the back. You know, you don't have to terminate these. So you have like your cables going through here. And these are the cables that are running through your house or through your office, right? Like in the walls, things like that. 
or even off your modem or ONT, your RJ45 Ethernet cables. So all you do is you literally just plug them in. So patch them, well, it's kind of like patching in, but just imagine this is a hardwired cable. It's going elsewhere, in all your cables. So there'll be a bunch here. You kind of plug all them in. Honestly, you don't have to label them, especially when you're using Unify. It's all going to show up quite easily once you plug them all in and you'll be able to identify it then. But you can, you know, you can have them labeled. That's not bad practice at all. That's the way it would look like back here. And like I said, the patch panel that comes with this, this mini rack doesn't have the strain relief. So the other one has like this bar that you can install that has a strain relief and you can use up zip ties. I guess they figured that this is just not as important here. But, but that's what it'll look like on the back. And obviously you only need to plug in whatever you have, whatever you're actually using. And I'm going to put the unified gateway here on top so that I can have some kind of sort of table here. So I can, you know, it's not really made, you're not made to put really an access point on top here. It's probably not the best height or anything for that. But if you kind of want everything all in one box sort of rack thing here, you could also, you know, put the gateway, put the, your unify, your wireless, I mean, access point on top and you have everything here. Or maybe your modem, your internet modem can go here as well. And this we have here the again, hardware kit. This is the UDM Pro Max, but this would be the same like all their other equipments, uh, UDM Pro, UDM SC. It's going to slide it in, push in the thumb screw and screw it tight. And now with everything installed, I'll probably go back and either hand tie these down or maybe even use, uh, you probably don't want to use a Phillips head here. But yeah, tying those down, pretty good, pretty sturdy. You can see it's all moving together. So if you recall from the very beginning, there was uh, quite a bit of jiggle. <laughs> it was jumping around quite a bit, but that's because there was nothing there, no rails. Uh, now it's, it's pretty sturdy. That's kind of what it looks like on the back. Again, you would have probably a lot more cables going through here. And yeah, it looks like this right here would be a good position. I guess down here, I'll have to put it. The PD Pro for the power distribution or just use your own you know, power strip in here. That is pretty sweet. Man, doesn't that look good or what? Seriously. And this is what I mean that you can grab, you know, something like one of these U6, U7. This is probably one of the smallest access points I mean, you can literally have it like that. Uh, it's not the best performance, obviously, and I would probably remove these steel handles just for less interference. Um, but it's kind of cool. You kind of have all-in-one sort of unit that can easily slide under your desk. Again, not ideal. Ideally, you will have an, your wireless access point mounted somewhere. But just to show you, you can roll around and it's all kind of all-in-one. Okay, and in terms of connections, ideally, you connect your switch and gateway with a SFP+. Plus. Now you don't have to, especially if you're not going to utilize that, but it helps prevent bottlenecks. You just want to make sure when you're installing these, um, they can be flipped like up or down. So just look in there and make sure you're trying to put it in the correct way. And if you have one of the Pro Max switches, you probably want to pick up some of their ether lighting cables, which are pretty sweet because they light up nicely. So I'm actually going to skip and I'll show you that in a minute. So this is my when my internet connection is coming in through here from my modem and it's only one gig and this is a 2.5 gig port on here so that's okay no bottleneck there and the rest of these i'm just going to patch over to the switch now what before i finish let me give this some power so we can see our ether lighting show okay and there it goes you can see how nicely that lights up even with all the light on in this room So a couple of things to know here as well is that you can actually buy this Toolless mini rack, uh, two of them. And when you do, you get the stacking kits as well, kind of goes on the sides here. So you can, if 6U is not enough for your Unify equipment, you can basically have a 12U um, and it'll kind of be the same, just stacked on top of each other. And like I mentioned in the beginning, you can get something like these RJ45 dust covers. Let's say you didn't want to patch these ports here, something like that, you can just plug those in and it keeps it protected and it matches nicely. Because let's be honest, if like this one I'm not using, right? I'll plug that up so it doesn't get dusty. 
if I ever need to use it, it's ready to go. Same thing with these ports up here. See, it looks kind of funny, but once I put all these in, right, there you go, it looks pretty clean. So we can go ahead and patch this guy. I will probably get another SFE Plus port and actually patch these in right here together. But that works as well. So you gotta say, this does look pretty sweet, right? I don't know where else you can get such a kind of simple rack, but yeah, it's all uniform, all with the, you know, unified equipment looks pretty slick. Obviously the ether lighting helps as well. So if you guys like this kind of video, this kind of hands-on approach build, uh, let me know. Uh, like this video, put your questions or comments in the comment section down below. I do read every single comment. Sometimes I might not respond. That's just because I might not know an answer to the question you're asking. Uh, but I do my best. And if you actually need to hire me and hire my team, just reach out, look for the links in the video description. We can help design your system because most likely a lot of you for your you know small home office or small business don't need a Pro Max, to be honest. The Pro Max Unified Gateway or even this switch. But we optimize, we design so that it works exactly for your needs and even, you know, as future-proof as you want it to be, right? Kind of dependent on your budget. I will have a video link up here for you if you want to go ahead and set up the unified gateway yourself. It'll apply to the Pro Max, UDM Pro, all of those in the switch. So if you want to configure the actual software side of things yourself, go ahead and watch that video. And down below, I'll have other unified videos that you can watch in that playlist link there. And all the equipment I have installed here today, I'll of course have a link in the video description. Thanks for watching. Take care.